Hello, so we are back and this time we have a job which is coming from a computer shop, okay? Uh, this is a Lenovo laptop, it's a nice one, i5 10 gen. The charger is plugged in, it's taking 700 milliamps. Pressing the power button, the current goes up 1.7 but no picture on the screen. Hmm? So what can be the problem? So the laptop is open. It's really nice inside. Hmm? It looks nice. Yeah, let's try something basic before we are... Uh, uh, probably the trial ready. Yeah? So we have the BIOS battery, we have the normal battery. Probably the trial ready. Plugging back the BIOS battery. Normal battery. Charging port. Look, we have here a nice ENE chip, startup chip. Pressing the power button. The laptop is coming on. And nothing is that dead. Let's see. Let's see what do we have inside. CPU 1.7, 1 1.7, 1.7, 12.9, 5 volts, 3.3. Everything looks fine. And what do we have here? 1 volt, 1.1. Yeah. So basically this is a dead laptop and we have no idea why. What is that? That's graphics. RAM memory, that's RAM memory issue. You think my RAM is the problem? Wait, do you think? Someone just said, you know, uh, sorry, it's it's on board, sold the RAM somewhere. That's what you said? <laughs> and that's the board. No one, uh, looks like no one touched the board. Yeah, wow, that's crazy, that's sick. Those people are sick, you know, the people from Lenovo, I can't believe. They stuck the memory with that black thingy, black glue, whatever. That's crazy, I mean, what's wrong with those people? I mean, you think if you put some black glue here, the RAM will not get disordered from the board? No, really. That, that's what you think. That, that's what the people are using uh, those uh, black glue. Huh? Now, you know what? You know what? Someone has to be brain damaged to use the glue and I hope the memory it will, it will not get uh, disordered from the board. Someone has to be brain damaged. I, I'm serious. Because there's no way, how can I reflow this? There's no way. Okay, I got it, I got it, and I calmed down, yeah? So I got the BIOS. Let's, uh, I'll show you. You will not like it, the way how you can disable the RAM, uh, the onboard RAM memory. But I'll show you. You can do it, but you need a, you need a fresh PC. Well, let's uh, let's write the BIOS on this board. Okay, so the BIOS is on the USB stick. It's the same BIOS, but with the uh, with the RAM disabled. Yeah.
perfect. Let's wait. Verifying. And you're ready. Good. Let's switch. Same board, yeah? Same board with... Uh, we remove the RAM memory. Uh, let's grab the laptop and test. Let me plug the charger. Let's see. We plug the charger. Pressing the power button. Yeah, working perfect. <laughs> no errors, nothing. I can't believe. Yeah, working fine. I have to edit the video now. Yeah, well, you can see. All good. It's working great. <sighs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I mean, huh? what do you think? What do you think about those? Now, let me show you how I did it. Yeah. Now, first, you have to download the tool. The problem with the tool is has a virus, yeah, and a virus like a bad virus. Actually, when the attacker it will take the control of your computer. Actually, even the Windows is detecting that virus. So it's a virus for Windows, you know, not with BIOS. I seen what the program is doing. Uh, basically, you have to check online, yeah. You on Google, yeah, just uh, search on Google for. Uh, BIOS memory SPD removal tool, yeah, and this is like a free. It's it's a free software. I mean, yeah, everything you know, those kind of things they are coming free. So you can download the the software. I downloaded already, uh, but not from here. One second, no, this one, this one, yeah, this one, yeah. And you have the download button here. But like how I said, use a new computer. Use a. Uh, I mean, a computer without any Google account, with the Wi-Fi off. Uh, let me show you. Yeah. This is the only tool available. Is there other option? Probably it is. You have to search on BIOS for long uh, to find out where actually is the memory and delete them. Let me plug the USB stick. But you have no choice, that's the problem. You have no, it's only one tool and uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, great. So the Wi-Fi is off. <laughs> Anyway, that's the program. Uh, let me delete the, the, the right BIOS from here. Yeah, let me delete it. Uh, the USB stick, which is not working. Yeah, it is working. So the program created this BIOS. I will delete it. Yeah. Good. So the, the, the thing is deleted. Now let's open the program. I had the program on the uh, on the on the antivirus because it was keep deleting it. What happened with the focus? Okay, you have to drag and drop the BIOS. So the BIOS file, which is here, into the program. Okay, that's all. Then you take all the memories from here and you push this button. I have no idea what that button means, but you push this button and it will create another BIOS file. Yeah, so check here, you see this file? So the program just created uh, this BIOS file, which comes with uh, RAM disabled, yeah, on board, RAM disabled. Okay, so that's how you do it. If, uh, if you have to do it in the future, probably now I will have to reinstall the Windows. But what other options I have? Told you, those people from Lenovo, they are, you know, just trying to screw the customer. Same like Apple. Huh? Huh? Same thing. Okay. 
So I think I'll stop now. I'm happy I fixed the laptop. We have a working laptop, don't get me wrong. A gig of RAM, it's enough. We have a working laptop. Otherwise, what options I have? Reboot the memory, solder the memories back. <laughs> that would be expensive. You know, this is a cheap laptop. It's an old, cheap laptop. So I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And uh, I apologize. I, I got angry early. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.